Hello, welcome to the first video in the history of For the Sake of Sound. Today I'm going to be showing you how to record and play your Roland Electronic V drums into Logic via USB. Now the first thing you're going to need is a USB lead that can connect USB Type B into your standard USB port on your computer. You can get these cheap off Amazon, so go and check them out. Right then, we're going to be looking at two methods today. First one is a nice simple one. It's great for those who want to just mess about with the, the drum sounds in Logic. And you could also use this if you want to record along to your favourite song or something. The second method I'm going to look at is more for those who do multi want to multi-track record and then delve into each individual drum sound um, and edit that them appropriately individually. So um, we're going to start off with the easy one. It's nice and quick, not too hard. So here we go. I've got my software instrument track selected in a new Logic file. I'm going to click Create. It straight away loads up with an electric piano, which is not what I'm after. So I'm going to go to Library over here, and I'm going to click Drum Kit. Right, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to click with my uh, click SoCal right once you've got SoCal open um, you'll need to plug in that USB type B port um, lead that you bought uh, plug that into your V drums um, switch on your V drums so if I switch on my V drums now you'll see um, a little message appear there it is so that's just telling me that logic is now linked and is recognizing my V drums so, um, if I go and give one of the drums a little bash, let's just uh, see what happens. So, snare's working, toms are working, ride and um, crash are working, bass drum's working. Right. You might notice with the hi-hat, I'm actually hitting eighths there, and it's missing. I'm still hitting, but it's not coming through. So there's an easy way to fix that. I know quite a few of you have been having problems with that. Nice, easy fix. So you need to click on the eye over here, uh, which will bring up your track. Um, you need to double-click on drum kit here. Wait for it to load. There we go. And then... In the corner here, we've got a little drop down. If you click that, click uh, input map mapping and click on V drum. Right, X off that. If I go back to pressing the high, uh, clicking the hi hat, I'll keep it. Um, I'll keep it in eighths and see if it's responsive. Much better. So then there was no no misses. It was just playing perfectly, and that also works when you're opening and closing the hi-hat. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, and if you want to record that, you just click on the track, click your R to arm it, and then, as normal, click record, and you're good to go. If you want to edit drum each individual drum sound, um, you can click on the drums and change the tuning, damp and gain, but what I mean by edit each individual drum sound, I mean... Um, by adding reverb or chorus to each individual drum. You can't do that this way. So, there's the first section done. Carry on watching if you want to find out how to ed edit individual drum sounds and add reverb or apply chorus or distortion to any of your drums. And then let's look at part two. So this is where we get to really get in, um, delve into the individual tracks. So, I'm um, starting from the start again. So, software instrument and create. Right, one thing you do need to note is that to be able to do this method, you need to ensure that you've downloaded the additional content for all of the drums so you can gain access to the producer kits. So the producer kits are just there, as so from dr into drum kit, and they'll be at the bottom under producer kits. Click that, and they'll have a plus on them. So again, I'm going to go into SoCal. So if I click SoCal, watch what happens here. So... SoCal loads it up and it's created a stack track for me. So there, inside, I've got all of the individual parts of the drum kit. And all of these I can actually edit individually. So once I've recorded my track, 
I'll be out if I want. I can add some um, distortion. Maybe um, distortion to my snare to give it a bit more grip. Or, uh, you can compress bass, uh, kick drum. It's up to you. And you also get the room, the ambient room sounds. You get all of your toms. Um, what else do you get? You get your overheads right. The overheads is the important part in this one. So if you click on your overheads, this is where the instrument is stored. So if I look at the kick drum, it's not there. So I need to click on overheads. And I'm going to double click on drum kit again like before. And again, I'm going to click on this drop down and click on V drums. Then it will all work exactly the same as before. And then when you record, I'll give you a quick example. So if I enable the record, if I hit the snare, you'll see it's affecting the top of the snare, the bottom of the snare, and the room ambience, and the overheads. Okay, so there you have it guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try and answer them as best I can. If you found this video to be useful in any way, please hit that like button and subscribe for more material. Cheers.